Hello YouTubers. Today what I want to show you is how to clean your fogged up headlights. Now these here are actually plastic headlights and what's happened over time is uh, any road debris has actually uh, put little dimples into the lights and uh, over time uh, it makes it fogged up as you can see. Now this doesn't actually make the vehicle look too appealing and uh, this also reduces your light output at night. So first what you want to start with is have a pail of water with soap. Any soap works fine. I like to use just regular uh, car wash soap. Now this rubber pad here is actually optional. I like to use it just provides a little more backing so it's nice smooth so I don't actually when I'm sanding I get my fingerprints in there. Now 1000 grit wet dry sandpaper. Now depending on the severity of your lights you may not need this. Uh, by the looks of mine here, I probably don't need a thousand grit, so I'll just skip right to. Uh, I have 1500 here, so what I'll start with is 1500 just to get the rough spots out. And then after, what I'll do is I'll finish up with 2000 grit. And after I'm done wet sanding, what I'll do after is apply some rubbing compound and uh, wax after that. Now, what you want to start with first is actually getting some soapy water on the light, so it does provide some lubrication. Now you can do this with just normal water, but uh, soap does add a little bit more uh, lubrication to when you're sanding and it does a nicer job. So first I'll start with 1500 grit. And what I'll do is just keep sanding it slowly, just take my time, try not to rush this. They also want to be careful of your vehicle's paint too. Now it is possible you can actually tape off around the outside here so you don't actually touch your vehicle's paint. Now after you're wet sanding for a bit, you will notice there is sort of a milky film that is coming off and that is actually the plastic that you're sanding off. Now after you're done sanding with your first stage, which would either be a thousand grit or fifteen hundred, uh, you'll move on to the next stage. Now, what I've done here is you don't actually have to do this, but I've just dried the lens off so you can get an idea what it looks like with uh, 1500 grit when it's done. Now, the headlight is somewhat smooth and it's still foggy, but it's a lot clearer than it was before. See the driver's side headlight. Now, when you're wet sanding, you always want to keep your headlight itself always wet and the sandpaper wet too and uh, continuously rinse the light off and the sandpaper just so the grit doesn't build up and put any deeper scratches into your light. Here's the final stage with 2000 grit sandpaper. Now you can see the scratches here are actually a lot finer. The higher number you move up on sandpaper, the finer the scratches the sandpaper produces. Now as you can see it looks a lot more clear than what we started out with the previously. Now for the final stages of the polishing process. Now what you'll want is polishing compound here and uh, include uh, just a little bit of uh, water. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a spray bottle but it's a lot easier though. Uh, after you're applying the compound for some time it will dry out and uh, just to re-moisten the material just spray some water on it. And uh, here I have some car wax. Now this is carnauba wax. It doesn't necessarily have to be that type but uh, any wax is uh, sufficient for the job and a couple soft polishing cloths here now, I've already applied some polishing compound to my cloth here what I want to do now is just basically apply it on similar movements as sanding just want to keep working it away back and forth until the surface starts to come more clear Now, the compound is starting to dry on the headlight itself, so this is where the water comes in. Simply spray a light mist on there, and then continue polishing. Now as you can see how nice and clear the, the surface is, after you've done with the compound, you want to apply some of the uh, automotive wax, and just simply rub it on, 
and you want to do the same thing as you did with the rubbing compound. Just work it into the surface. I also want to make note that make sure the surface is dry and there's no water present because this will cause problems when you're applying the wax. Now this is different from applying wax on the car. What you want to do is actually rub this into the surface and then wipe it off immediately. Now after you're done with the wax, this is what your uh, finished product should look like. So you can see it's nice and clear, nice and smooth to the touch. There is uh, no more stone chips. And when you compare it to the other light, there's a big difference. Now I just want to say, thank you for watching my videos. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you.